Hi guys. Um, so you all know I was in Chicago last week and Arnold, one of the senior directors from Beachbody, was there with us and he shared with us a story and I wanted to share it with you guys as well because it was so impactful. It was so relevant to what we're doing in this business and so I wanted to share with you. So he, um, some of the corporate people in the Utah office um, where he is at decided on, I think it was like Memorial Day weekend, to hike up a mountain. And they were going to leave at about 2 o'clock in the morning, um, start their hike, and they were going to reach the top of this mountain at 6.41 a.m. when the sun was rising. And they had invited him, they had invited him to join, and he said no. Like, that's crazy, it's my weekend, I've been traveling a lot, I wanted to spend time with my family, and um, it's just not for me, thanks. Like, no, no, I'm not going to do it. And so, suddenly some more people were doing it, and they got him hooked. So he's like, okay, you know, and so he started getting ready, he bought all the equipment, he bought like this helmet with this little flashlight right in front, and on the evening of, that they were going to do this hike, he tried to go to bed about 8 o'clock and just all the nerves were getting to him and really stressed out and got maybe a half hour sleep before he had to go, like, had to wake up and go get Jeremy Red, one of the other um, directors in corporate. So he picked him up and they're driving there and they're like, what in the world were we thinking? What do we get ourselves hooked into, um, suckered into? It's the middle of the night and we're going to go climb this mountain. And, you know, people were telling them there's lion bears or there's lions and there's all these animals and you could get hurt and all this stuff and how dumb of an idea it was. And they just, they're like, well, let's do this. So they get to um, the spot and everybody's, you know, starting together and they kind of all start hiking up this mountain and they're going slow and steady and Arnold said, you know, you could see in front because you just have a little bit of light from this helmet. And he was staying focused, head down on the ground, one step in front of the other. And every once in a while, he would look up to see what was in front of him, look around, see if there were any lions or anything. Every single time he would trip over a, um, over a root or hit a branch. And so he just put his head down and he had to stay focused one step in front of the other. That's all he could do. And as it kind of came up to about 5 a.m., they started to see things around them. They started to see, have a little bit of light and he could see you turn one inch or so that way, you're going down a mountain. Like your whole life is, is gone. And he started to see all of these risks that um, were in front of him. And he's just like, I just got to keep going. And I think they said about um, 530 or so, they realized that they were at the speed that they were going, they were not going to be able to be at the top at the time of the um, sunrise. And so they either had to forego being there when the sunrise came up and just take it slow and steady and go up the mountain, or they could cut through a different path and kind of climb straight up the mountain. To, to be there at 641. So they decided to go cut through the mountain and they're climbing up and Arnold said, you know, all of a sudden you're like grabbing onto a rock, you think it's steady and you go to put your hand on it and it goes crumbling and it goes right down the hill and you, you turn around and you look and you see what a risk I'm taking. And you, you just, you're like, my whole life is ahead of me and I could die, you know, climbing up this hill, climbing up this mountain, what am I thinking? And so they got to the end. It's really close to 641 when the sun is rising and they have this little um, ledge that they have to get through. And he said it was barely wide enough for your feet to go. And so you're up against the mountain walking step by step. And this one kid just goes running through. I don't think he was with the beach body group. He goes running and the kid falls and he stumbles and they all kind of, you know, like you're scared to death. You're going to go down this, go down this mountain. And the kid steadied himself and he got back up and he just went. And Arnold said all of a sudden it was his turn. And so he went step by step and he got there. They were there when the sun rose and he said it was the most amazing thing. He said the craziest thing was I sat there and reflected and I thought if I wouldn't have done this, nobody would have ever been able to describe the feeling of accomplishment that I had from doing this. Nobody would ever be able to describe how beautiful this is, how life-changing this, this view is. And, and so he equated that to our business. 
So you get into this idea, you get into this network marketing business that the whole world can't understand and all they're doing is telling you what a failure it's gonna be and how you won't be able to succeed and only a few people do it and you just keep going. And he said the best best part of that was that when they started that, that ascent up the mountain, it was dark. They couldn't see anything around them. All they could do was focus on one step in front of the other, doing your daily behaviors every single day. They couldn't focus on that person way ahead of them, um, that person who was climbing up the mountain so much faster than them. They, they weren't, you weren't focused on what other coaches are doing and comparing yourself. You could only go one step in front of the other. But when you get there, when you get to your diamond, your star diamond, your 15 star diamond business, nobody will be able to describe to you the feeling of accomplishment. And so at the end, you know, he was saying that they get up there and there's a man up there and he's an older gentleman and um, he had been doing this every, well, three times a week. He climbs this mountain um, all by himself up and down and, and he loves to bring people with him. He loves to bring people back and help them conquer this and see the beauty. And Arnold said, you know, he's talking to him. The guy is 73 years old. It took our team beach body um, people like to, they left it too. It took them like the almost five hours to get up there. And then five hours back, he said, I think it was like a total of like eight hours or so, eight, nine hours to do it. This man goes up and down in three hours because of practice, because he's done it many, many times. And so when you get frustrated because somebody's hit diamond or signed a coach or whatever, and all of a sudden they start signing a lot of coaches, it's easier because they've mastered the idea of inviting. They've mastered that task. They've mastered, would you like to join my challenge group? Would you like to join my team? And it's just practice. And so you can't get frustrated with that. You just have to say, I just need more practice. I'm sure if I tried to climb that mountain, it would take me 24 hours to do because I've never done it before. Um, and so you just have to give yourself credit and push yourself to just do it and to enjoy the journey and not focus on everybody else and what everybody's doing. You focus on your journey because your accomplishments and how you feel when you achieve those goals are your own. Nobody else is going to be able to tell you how it felt and you're never truly going to be able to describe that. And when you do it, when you hit diamond, this is why I get so passionate about helping you guys hit diamond because I know how it felt to do it. I know I know how it felt to achieve that goal. I know how it felt to fire my boss and I want to help you guys do that. So I get so excited and want to bring you along. But just like on the mountain, I can't carry you. You know, Arnold couldn't have carried anybody else up that mountain. They have to do it for themselves. I'm just your guide. I'm just saying, follow me. This is the way I did it. And maybe I stumbled a ton on my way up, but I get better every single time. So I want to share that with you because I know I shared it with some of the top coaches on our team on Thursday and it really made an impact on them. And so hopefully you guys will enjoy this too. And just remember, stop focusing on all the other things because you're going to trip and fall when you do. You focus solely on your daily behaviors, inviting to your network, inviting to your challenge groups, inviting to your team personal development and being a product of the product. And that's it. It's just that simple. So I hope that helps and I'll talk to you all soon. Bye.